So I got the Rode NT-USB for a friend and he allowed me to open up the box. So I thought, why not do a quick unboxing video, sound demo, and also tell you what I think about the NT-USB. So the NT-USB is a USB microphone, which is not exactly new in the market. It has been around for a few years, but I think it's one of the best sounding USB microphones you can buy today. Now, when it comes to USB microphones, I believe the advantage it brings is convenience. I mean, all you really need is a USB to plug in via a USB cable to your computer, iPad or smartphone and record and stream straight away. So this makes it great for people who do a lot of online meetings these days, you know, with Zoom, Skype, maybe you're doing a live streaming and all you really need is just plug in this into your computer or smartphone. Now, on the other hand, if you are an audio professional and you're looking to, you know, do a lot of multi-tracking, record, you know, a band or more, then you're better off buying XLR microphones because that gives you the flexibility of connecting it with mixers, working in the studio or even working on stage. Now, when it comes to USB microphones, multi-tracking is going to be a little bit harder. But anyway, enough talking. Let's get into the NT-USB. I'm going to unbox this and show you what's inside and tell you a little bit about the NT-USB, a really, really great microphone. So let's start unboxing the NT-USB. Uh, I'm going to show you a close-up later on, so don't worry, you'll still see what's on the box. So I'm going to open up the label. And there we go. You have your foam. And in the box, this is what you get. Basically, your port filter, which attaches to the bottom of the microphone. Okay. And the microphone itself. Now it's quite heavy in fact, and I think it weighs just slightly under one kilogram from the weight of it. It feels really, really solid. And you can see that on the front, this is the front of the microphone, we have the gold plated signature from Rode that tells you this is the direction that you should record from. Now on the side, we can see we have two dials here. The first one is an input source mix where you're basically mixing between direct monitoring from the microphone itself for zero latency or mix it together with the source from your computer. And then we have the headphone volume as well where you have the inputs for a headphone you know, jack there. On the bottom, this is where your USB cable goes inside and this is what powers the microphone. So I think it's really solid. This is one of the most solid USB microphones that I have held in my hands and it sure seems very, very solid. Now, keep in mind that the microphone records up to 16 bit 48 kilohertz. And while that might sound a little bit low compared to you know, other microphones in the market, in my experience, that is usually more than enough for most professional recording uh, applications, unless you're doing you know, work for maybe Hollywood. All right, so what else in the box? Let's see. So other than that, we have your little regulatory and safety manuals. We have your stand. This is the table stand that goes on top of the table to get you started immediately for most recordings. So it goes pop, and then this goes on top of that for the table. We're going to set that up later on, so you'll see this in action as well. And then we have a super relatively long USB cable. This is 6 meters in length, one of the longest I've seen in the, a microphone. USB microphone as well, so this gets you really, really far. If you have, you know, a long distance from your computer to yourself, this will get you there. And very nice, we also have a carrying pouch for you to carry the USB microphones everywhere. Now, like I said earlier, right, USB microphones give you the benefit and advantage of convenience and also versatility. So this enables you to carry the microphone everywhere you go. And yep, we have your sticker. I love Rode microphones and basically your instruction manual that comes with it. So anyway, let's get this set up and let's do a quick sound demo on the Rode NT-USB. So we got the NT-USB all set up and the USB uses USB 2.0 which is a little bit slower compared to USB 3 but it should be fine since we are using it with a microphone. So I'm going to plug in the USB into a dongle to my computer, which is here. There we go. And you can see there's a blue light that lights up there. I'm not sure you can see it on camera, but that tells you that the microphone is already working. 
So the next thing you have to do is basically within your DAW or your audio recording software, you want to actually uh, ensure that the audio source or the inputs is from the microphone here. So we can see input road anti-USB, that's great. So we know that we are recording from this microphone, can already see signal in that DAW of mine. Now to control the input levels of the microphone, since this is a USB microphone and the preamps are already inbuilt, we have to use sound settings within Mac, within our system preference. And if you're on a Windows computer, that will be on your control panel. So you can see on my input, I have the Rode Anti-USB. And from here, as I speak into the microphone, we can actually control the volume of the microphone to a sound that I'm actually happy with. It's not clipping, it's not hitting the max of the input level, so that's great, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna be comparing the anti-USB together with another mic I have here. This is the SE Electronics X1A, which has a higher sound pressure level and also has a higher dynamic range compared to the Rode anti-USB. Now, one more thing that you want to note that is with a stand with this, there's no shock mount on the given table stand. So it might, you might get some table bumps recorded into the anti-USB if you bump a lot on the table. So that means if you want to eliminate that, you probably have to get a dedicated microphone stand for your table with a shock mount. So I'm going to plug in the headphones here and monitor the anti-USB. And this sounds great. I'm listening to it right now. This sounds great. So anyway, the only way you're going to hear this is if I record something and you hear it for your own with your own ears. Okay. So again, I'm going to compare this together with the XE X1A. And once I'm ready, I'm going to hit on record. And you know, quickly just say a few things into the both these microphones here. All right. So you're listening right now to the Rode Anti USB, which is an amazing sounding microphone. I can hear its creeps. It's warm uh, and although the sound pressure level and the maximum sound pressure level on the Rode NT-USB and the dynamic range of the NT-USB is smaller and lower compared to the XE X1A, I think this sounds amazing for most users when it comes to recording voiceovers, doing live streams and more. And seriously, this is one of the best sounding or better sounding USB microphones that I've recorded and heard on um, for a long, long time. So let me know what you think about the sound uh, in the comment section below. And what do you think of both these microphones? Which one sounds better to you? And given that I'm recording this in an untreated room, I've not treated the walls, it's all blank, so we might get some echo. And I'm trying to simulate most users because most of you will be recording in a room just like this, um, doing your live streamings, doing your, your meeting online and more. So let me know. Now, what about using it with a smartphone? You might be wondering. It's super simple. All you really need is a converter that converts into USB-C for your Android phone or your Lightning cable converters for iPhone and just plug it in. Again, the microphone will light up telling you that it's already working. And on my screen here, I'm just gonna go into voice, okay? And one thing I realized about the Rode NT-USB is that you're able to also listen and monitor from your smartphone's audio. That means you can listen to Spotify through your smartphone into the Rode NT-USB and output it from on your headphones because of the ability for the monitoring for you to choose between the microphone and also the source of your smartphone or computer. So anyway, to start recording, quite simple. We are just going to go into my uh, voice app here and then I'm going to hit on record. Okay, I'm going to hit on record and that's really about it. You can begin to see the audio waveforms going into my smartphone here and we are recording using the NT-USB into my microphone. So it also works with popular live stream apps like uh, Facebook Live, Clubhouse and more. So this is really an amazing buy for a USB microphone. All in all, the Rode NT-USB is a great microphone given how great sounding it is. And it also comes with everything you need to get started from the table stand, the mic clips, and also the pop filter to record straight away out of the box. And it also works with computers, smartphones seamlessly, just plug and play. And I absolutely find that the monitoring mixer here to change between the inputs of microphone, direct monitoring, and also from your source is super useful. 
Now, if there's one thing to hate about the mic, I would say that it's the plastic build of the mic clip and also the table stand, whereby you want to be careful when you're using it because if you use excessive force as you're adjusting the position, the plastic might actually break and that will leave you with uh, a microphone that is unmountable on this table stand. Now, the alternative is to buy the additional Rode SMR shock mount, which gives you the ability to actually mount the microphone with a usual microphone stand like this or a typical microphone stand. So anyway, tell me what you think about the Rode NT-USB. I know that the price is slightly higher above most um, budget USB microphones, but I think it's worth the buy. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about the microphone and can't wait to see them. Thanks.